doing something wrong and you reprimand or punish him and see a child doing what is good and you think he, it is worthy of emulation and you say about that child and praise him mm -hmm. or and give him a five bottles to say this is very good keep it up so you see that that kept going you know our society going very very well mm -hmm. so yes it's you, you, you're right and uh, as the, the head of the entire government is the president mm -hmm. he comes here each year uh, and uh, he gives the primary debate and the primary debate is what I want to call the speech that he gives. He, that's, that's the component of his debate. So he will debate. And when he debates, because he is the head of all government, he will talk about his intents for the following year regarding all branches of government. He will say the progresses that he has seen in government for the previous year. And he will see what sides of the government were weak and they need adjustment. And so he talks in all. And he will see the plans that he has to do something that will add value to the country's development, mm -hmm. and then he will go. After he go, that is his own speech. You know, the, you know, the, the, <coughs> the president is head of the whole country. He sits there, but he knows what happens everywhere. Yeah, <coughs> yes, because here he has a national assembly. In the Ministry of Education, he has a minister. In the Ministry of Agriculture, he has a minister and his permanent secretary. In defence, he has the, mini the minister and the chief of defence staff. You see, so so all these people. You know, it, it, the documents always are before him. Just like I said, when we when we work with the Public Accounts Committee here, at the end of the the, 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 the findings, we send you know a document to him, and that document shows him what we have worked like here. So all these other ministries work that way too. It, uh, the, all these components and elements of government work that way, and he goes through them and he pinpoints out what he thinks must take precedence over the other as far as priority is concerned. <coughs> um, actually, I am indebted to to my children more than my wife's, you know. <laughs> I'm more indebted to my children more than my wife. Mm. You know, uh, they, I, have, I, have, I have six children. But my fourth child is seven years old. And you know, he cannot, he cannot talk. And he cannot walk. Mm. So what happened is, the moment I am away for so many hours, I begin wondering who is taking care behind me because the younger sister goes to work, the other one is going to school, the elder brother is going to school too, and uh, the eldest of them all is back at home. So it is the mother and uh, the younger one that is circling now that is at home. Uh, is, he, is she going to be able to take care of a heavy boy that has to be lifted, is seven years old, plus the baby that she has in her own, own hands? So I, I think the sympathy that goes to the mother is the weight of the boy, how he how she is helping to take care of the boy. But but I'm indebted more mm -hmm. to that boy, who actually cannot walk, and uh, cannot talk, but he's amongst the most intelligent type of children that you can see in this country, because the moment something happens here, mm -hmm. never mind he can't talk, he he must make you know mm -hmm. that something happened here, and the door is that. So you see, this is why it is very painful and expensive to me for a child like that not to be able to walk or talk. But I'm, I'm grateful that um, uh, actually uh, I am I'm blessed with that number of children and with uh, that, that boy particularly. Uh, actually, uh, as you have said, to be more serious, I feel very guilty because sometimes not even working until late, but I know I live for treks to other, par to other parts of the country and I am there for three, four days. In fact, I remember some days when my memory was very, very bad. I would live here without even, you know, leaving this money with them. For a number of days, I am going to the provinces for. So they had to call me and say, hey, but he did not leave us with any for this money. Mm -hmm. So I say, go to my brother's show and in that office and tell him that I said, let him give you money until I come back. So they feel reluctant to go to people and say, my husband says to give me money when I'm called deputy speaker or speaker. <laughs> you know, with that one time with that caliber, yeah. you know, he's, he's boring his money. Uh, it is not actually boring, yes, but it, yes, you see, Yes, so but I'm happy too that I have a good number of brothers surrounding me. Anytime that it comes to my uh, to my request for their aid, they come in because as a politician, it is it is wonderful and difficult. You know, in Africa, when you are a politician, you can never keep anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, so so actually, I'm I'm, I'm indebted and very very grateful to most of my brothers and sisters who have been around helping mm -hmm. my, my wife and my family to actually. Speaker, that was uh, Honorable Speaker Abdullahi Bojang, and um, he is the eighth speaker of the Gambia and we they had five men and three women
it's, it's really a pleasure having you, and we wish to come back someday. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Gana abu nyu sante ya la julis yon inti bu tedabi. Digerem su nyu nyari wajuri. Aki puko hamna ya nge sitan se programi lewa tu ufisi GRTS. Nge di se anak sen domine ilinger. Te inak si bir program bedu nyu defdara ludut indi len bure bu mak bo hamne. Amon na fufu nu nisi bansang. Nekof nyu organaison bure bo budonu. Mboke du nyu defdara ludut nyu bailen nge sitan se programi lewa tu. Hey! 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 Hey!